Welcome to the next episode of Crafty You, the show that helps adults find their crafty side. Uh, my name is Alyssa Crow, and I am your host for this new show from the Aveline Public Library. And today I am going to show you how to make a super fun craft um, with Fired Ink Arts. And here is my example. As you can tell, it is very lovely. Now, to make this craft, um, you are going to need a few specialized supplies. Um, so let me tell you what they are. First, as you can see, I've got the picture frame here. So we're gonna need the glass from the picture frame. This one is a five by seven, but it can be any size, really. If you wanted to do something else like a cup or a vase or a mirror, just make sure that it is fireproof um, so it doesn't, you know, burst into flames while you're doing the craft because you don't want that. Because the next thing you're going to need, which is very important, is a fire starter. I have the long one here, which is really what you need instead of matches or a lighter for safety's sake. I also have a tray. This one has foil in the bottom just as another um, safety thing. And this one is a shorter sided tray, but if you're doing it at home, it may be easier to do a larger sided tray um, just for safety's sake. So I'm gonna put my glass here in the middle. It is sort of camouflaged now. It is difficult to see. The next supply you're going to need are special inks, and these are alcohol inks. I did get them at the local craft store. They come usually in packages of three, and you can pick whichever color you prefer. These are just the ones that I picked. I've got flamingo, patina, and amethyst, which basically is pink, green, and purple. I found these near the stamp and ink section in the craft store. You can also find them online, I'm sure. Um, just make sure that you use alcohol ink, because the next supply you're going to need is rubbing alcohol. The higher percentage, the better. This one is 91%. The other ones will work. It just won't be as concentrated of a color when your craft is finished. And then I have two more kind of supplies. Um, I've got a straw and this is the top of a spray bottle, which you can put directly into the alcohol bottle if you'd like. Um, or you could use the straw, which is what I'm going to do as sort of a dropper because I don't have a dropper, but if you use that, you could do that too. And last supply is going to be a rag just for cleanup. So let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is pick your color. I'm gonna start with purple. And you just drop in random spots on your glass. We're doing green, and you can already see it start to spread. Is what this project is going to do. We are using the alcohol ink, and then I'm going to put the other rubbing alcohol on it as well to mix the colors a little more. But if you like this, you could just go from there. So the next step is to take your alcohol. Now this step goes pretty fast, so I'm gonna push it in to the top and I'm going to let this run along the side. And then I'm gonna lift it up to mix it. Now this next part is the super safety required. Make sure nothing is in the way or close to where you're going because we are about to light this on fire. Okay, if this works. One seat. Now, <laughs> the more alcohol you use, the higher the flame will be. Um, so make sure nothing is close to where you are working. We don't want to set anything on fire. And this is why this is an adult craft. You don't want kids to play with open flame, obviously. Now, as soon as the fire is out, what is happening is it burned off all the alcohol. And so you're gonna let it cool just a little bit because it was just on fire before we pick it up. I'm going to lift it up just a bit. You can see our finished whoo, project. That's warm, be careful. So if you like it, then it's great, it's done. If you don't, the beauty part of this is once it is not on fire anymore and you um, let it cool, if you don't like it, you just spray some more alcohol on it and wipe it off and start again. So that is the really easy way. See, that took like two seconds to make our fired ink art. 
And then you can make it in any color or any size. Like I like this one. You could also do it this way and make it um, like a dry erase if you wanted to do a bigger one. Um, so that is how you make our fired ink art. Thank you for watching this episode of Crafty You, and we'll see you on the next one. All right, welcome to another episode of Crafty You, the show that lets adults no fired ink art. That's what it looks like. Okay. That was hot. I shouldn't have picked it up. I shouldn't have picked it up. It was hot. Not hot enough to burn me, but hot enough I almost dropped it. It's fine. How funky is your chicken? <laughs> that loose is your goose.